welcome. It's more than organized Monday and it is a holiday, but here I am because I wanted to talk to you about laundry systems today. Now, a lot of people think that laundry is super complicated and that's because it has been a marketing situation, right? There's been so much marketing about laundry. Everything is about laundry um, and it's complicated. There's stain removal, there's boosters, there's centers, there's all kinds of things going on with laundry that make you think that there's something missing if you aren't doing it all, doing all the things that are for sale around laundry. And as I did my laundry myself this morning, I realized I had fallen for some of the stuff. I've been exploring um, more environmentally conscious ways of doing my laundry and tried out probably eight or nine different versions of laundry sheets and or um, less packaging laundry detergent and stuff. And I have found that none of them work that great. Some of them do. Um, but not the sheets. I have not found a single laundry sheet that dissolved every single time I used it. It would work great for like three or four days or weeks. And then one day it would just glom up everything. And, um, so I'm not thrilled with them. I love the concept of them, not so much the practicality. So I was thinking through again, what, what happened when I complicated my laundry? I ended up with a bunch of extra products in my laundry room. I ended up with a lot more dust and lint collecting on said items. Um, and I started ending up with clothes that I had to double treat or wash twice and then they weren't available in my closet. So I want you to think of your laundry system as more of a wardrobe keeping system. You have clothes you need to wear and they need to be washed or paid attention to every once in a while so that they're available to actually use, right? The whole point of it is having something to wear easily accessible when you need it. So um, it's also one of those areas that it doesn't matter which system you pick to use, but that you use the same system over and over and over. Um, I find a lot of people think that adding a different style of hamper is going to make the laundry get magically done or adding dryer balls will make it automatically fold itself. That's not true. You actually have to use a system. You got to pick one and make it work. There are three ways to think about your laundry system. Where are you going to put your hamper? That's the bottom line. Where? What kind of laundry are you going to do? I grew up with a family that did kind of one load a day. And so we would get ready for bed and just put our day's clothes in the hamper and mom would do a load of whichever one was most full that evening and it'd be dry in the morning if we needed it. Um, then there was the extra laundry day with linens and things, but the clothes would get washed regularly. Um, and that works fine. I found when I lived alone, it didn't make sense to run a load just for my outfit for the day. So I use a system that is, I separate uh, into two options. I have darks and lights. That's it, I don't separate my whites out. I have very few whites. Um, but I separate into two hampers, lights, darks, everything goes in there. If I use, um, rags or towels or anything, it just gets light or dark. And then on laundry day, I do two loads of laundry plus linens and it works out great. It's already separated. Just take it in, do one load, fold it, put it away. Right. Um, you can, and if you have a bigger family, you can do those bigger hampers that are divided and everybody can put theirs into the division and just do it uh, when a section is full. Um, all right, what did I want to do? Um, also, you can use just one hamper, put everything in there and then separate on laundry day and do those loads. That works well too. I did that for 10 years when I lived in San Francisco. I didn't have room for two side by side laundry hampers. So I just had one and I would separate it on laundry day. Um, and then you got to do your linens and you get to do your linens as often as you want or as infrequently as you want. The choice is yours. What meets your standards and expectations? I was just reading a thing this morning about chores and it said, you know, wash your linens once a week. And there are points in my life where I did that. 
but that's not what my lifestyle is right now. And my, I, I tend to shower in the evenings. And so I'm not really dirty when I go to bed. So I do every other week, but that's my standard. If there were other people involved, it might be different. If I had kids involved, it might be different. So knowing um, that I don't eat crackers in bed, I don't need to wash my linens as often. So think about that. Where are you going to draw that line? But really, don't give every single person in the household separate laundry and then have 50 different loads to do every week because that's what came out of the hamper. You got to start combining into bigger loads, but separating back out to the people that need it. So simplest solution is to create less laundry in the first place. System is one thing. The actual doing and forming a habit of doing laundry is different. And you need to have fewer items to wash fewer loads. I know some of you have kids in sports or you go to the gym a lot, whatever it is. But maybe you could make use of that in-between chair in your um, closet for the things that you wore for an hour yesterday and aren't actually dirty enough to wash, you know, automatically throw them in the hamper. You put them into a rotation where I'm going to wear it again later in the week. Next time I need to run to the store for five minutes. Um, and then at the end of the week, it goes into the hamper if it hasn't been worn again or it gets hung back up because it's aired out enough. You decide, but that's a piece of the laundry system is pulling those things out that you wore for just a little bit of time. Okay, the other thing that having fewer clothes is gonna help you do is it makes it easier to pick out an outfit. Not as many choices. Um, it helps with avoiding laundry um, and it helps uh, you figure out what you need to replace and when you need to replace it because you're more familiar with where there might be a stain or a hole in something and when it's time to actually replace it. Okay, you want you might want to rethink the number of linens you have as well. It's one of those areas that people have too many. They think there's going to be a gazillion emergencies that require 50 towels. Um, I like having one or two sets of towels for each member of the family. And I like having one set of linens per season um, for the bed. And so you can, I really just have one and then I have a couple extra blankets, but that way the bed airs out while you wash and then you have to put the linens back on the bed and then you don't have to fold them. What? You don't have to store your linens. They just go right back on the bed. All right, you might have an extra set or two for emergencies in the middle of the night if someone gets sick or there's kids involved or pets, um, but you don't need to have five or six sets of linens for each bed. Two max, one that's on there and one for emergency situations and or if a guest stays over, but they, they have their own bed with one set. Huh? Right? Okay. So let's see. Oh, use it till it wears out or you get sick of it and then buy a new set and use that one till you're sick or it wears out. That's all. There's no need to keep extras of those particular things. And I want you to remember that laundry isn't actually done until the things are put away. So having an organized closet or linen closet allows you to put the things away quickly and easily. How often do you not put your laundry away just because you can't get at the hangers or the drawer is overstuffed and you can't put stuff away? That's why we declutter our closets regularly. Not just because I'm trying to make you get rid of stuff, but so your day-to-day -day life is easier. Okay. Also, it creates more work later if you don't do your laundry right away. Things get wrinkled in the hamper or when they're on the couch or they get covered in dog hair again, and then you got to do it again. So just do it right away, right when you finish the dryer. Okay. Always, it turns out, finishing a task now saves lots of time later. So just keep that in mind. Where's the end of the system? It's when the clothes and the linens are back where they live after you do your laundry. All right. I will see you next week. In the meantime, please subscribe, follow, like, share, and tell all your friends. Um, and in the meantime, have a delightful day.